Hey guys, now as per usual over the last few weeks, me and Psyduck here have been reading the comment section really thoroughly, trying to come up with video ideas that we think you might enjoy. But of course the comment section can be a bit of a minefield and there was a few comments in particular that were pitching the idea that I was actually a deep fake or actress performing the guise of being a woodworker but not actually doing any of the work. Now obviously this is absolutely true, so what we're going to do today is just go forward and uh, show you what this deepfake software is capable of and show you the process of me, a deepfake, making a guitar neck. Oh, just so you know, the person actually doing the work is a man. It is 100% true. Okay, you are a man though. Are you? We're going to drop in throughout the video to explain what exactly is happening and explain kind of a bit about the tools that I'm using and that kind of thing. So stay tuned for that, otherwise I'm going to, going to stop talking as much and let you guys see a little bit of the, the beautiful process that goes on when one makes a guitar neck. Now I've obviously been squaring this neck up the whole time and what I'm doing now is something called a scarf joint. Now scarf joints are traditionally used in guitar making, they are just in this case a 15 degree cut in the actual neck that is then flipped around to create the angle of the headstock as we know it. You can get one piece necks but I think they're very wasteful personally and a good scarf joint can often be stronger than a piece of wood so it's all good. Just a word about the background music, I listen to a lot of classical music and this is one of my absolute all-time favourite pieces. It is of course Mozart and it may be familiar to some and I hope all of you. <laughs> Thank you. 
little guys that I'm installing here are actually carbon fibre stiffening rods. To make the neck extra specially strong, they go either side of the truss rod and I glue them in with a very strong marine grade epoxy to just really ensure that this neck's going to last a really long time without any movement because of the pull of the strings. It's quite a notoriously hard job to keep clean so I cover the fretboard in tape to make sure none of the epoxy gets into the truss rod channel because we would not want that. <laughs> I've already done a video where I make a fretboard so do go back and watch that if you're curious as to how I made the fretboard. I just want to talk a little bit about this jig that I'm using here because it's quite unusual. It's a Dot Doctor from Elevate who are a Luther tool company out in the States. Normally the process of putting dots into the fretboard is an absolute nightmare and this jig is so simple. It just saves such a massive chunk of time. It makes sure that it's perfectly straight down so you don't have to use a pillar drill and it makes sure that it's perfectly placed in the exact same place as all the others.
just like to offer a word of advice here. If you have a spoke shave in your workshop, please put googly eyes on it. The amount of joy that I get for free every single day by having this little guy around is just second to none, really. That's all I have to say about that. So, big moment of truth, here we are, with the neck attached to the body. I am thrilled with how this looks. I've not got any um, gloves in the workshop at the moment, so I'm gonna have to tidy it, tidy this up when it's ready for a straight spray finish with just a little bit of finer sandpaper because I will get dis the destructive oils of my fingers all over it now. So anyway, this is what it looks like when it's on the instrument. I haven't drilled the tuna holes yet, have I? Man, there's always one thing. Look at that. Look at that. That's not even got any finish on it yet. That's what will be happening next. It will be going off to the shiny shop. We will be back soon with another video. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to like, subscribe and do that little notification thing so you don't miss anything. See you soon.